Alright, it's Virgo New Moon time and I've pulled some more cards for all of us. And uh, I love that it was these two like white cards sandwiching these bright colorful cards. Uh, we got the clear cords, literally white, um, Ace of Wands and the Spider card. So I'm going to start with the Ace of Wands. It's interesting because I just pulled this card for myself. I haven't been, I've been so busy pulling cards for other people. I haven't been pulling for myself. And as always, I get slapped with truth bombs when I pull for myself. And I'm like, ah, yes, there they are. There's spirit. Um, Ace of Wands is a so minor arcana. We're talking about the one through ten. Ace being the first. Uh, wands being the fire element, sacral chakra, what we're creating, our kundalini energy. And this is all about like finding what you're excited about. What is it, what is it that you want to be putting your energy into? The ace of wands, it's this beautiful like flowering stick that is surrounded by bright yellow and red light. And it's coming to bring you this energy of like, sun shining fire lighting a fire under your ass get excited about something and decide that you want to put your energy somewhere still i'm like i know that i need to figure this out and i'm still trying to put my energy there but you know it's like one health thing after another one physical thing one emotional thing one universal thing the world is collapsing hurricanes are coming for the islands and i but still, you got to focus it in. You got to focus it in on where do you want to be pointing your wand. The magician takes their wand, points it at something, and something happens. And this is like the imagery that we want to be conjuring for ourselves. Like our energy, though we can't physically see it necessarily, you know, I, I feel that I can witness energy, but not like through my physical sight. I witness it through feelings and through... It's something intangible that I can't, can't describe, but if you're the type of person who understands energetic work, then you understand that it is tangible even if you can't see it. And so this is asking us to direct our energy, to figure out where we want to be putting it because it's Virgo season. Virgo is amazing earth sign that brings, the way I like to describe the earth signs is like Capricorn is the, when the root goes down, the building of the foundation. Then Taurus is when it sprouts, when the plant sprouts and it's starting to build itself a life and it needs the comfortability in order to grow and get where it needs to go. Virgo is a full-fledged plant that is giving of itself. And so we're in that stage right now of the year where we are, we're coming up towards harvest season, summer is ending, fall's about to begin, it's the transition into winter and we're going to start it all over again. So where do we want to be putting our energy right now? And then once we figure out where we're putting our energy, we become the spider and we become the element that builds its web that understands what it needs to do it needs to lie and wait and wait for its food and its prey to come to it it's like when you build the structure around what it is that you want then the universe knows to bring it to you and this is what i'm always saying i'm always i know i'm just harping on the same things all the time. If anybody's watching these videos, you know I'm saying similar things because it is what it is. In order to manifest what you want, you have to first feel like you have it and you have to think about and know exactly what it is so that you can archetype a picture of it. So it's that combination of things of knowing what it is because a lot of us don't even know what we want in the first place to be honest because and I'm not saying that as a jab to anybody because that's true about me too. It's it's that the world doesn't want us to know what we want because when we know what we want then we could potentially have it. And if we don't know what we want, then we'll never have what we want. And so the spider is like, build the web for yourself to know, to get clear on what it is that you want so that you can start to have the universe bring it to you. And it's really, really hard to stay focused. Speaking for me personally, I can't speak for y'all, but 
for me, it's hard to stay focused on what it is that I want because I can so easily be distracted with feeling other people's energy or feeling other situations around the world that are really heartbreaking. And yes, all of that is true. But the thing is, is like we're, we have to exist in multiple realities at once and we have to learn how to mitigate that. Otherwise, we're just all going to drown. And if that's it, then, you know, so be it too. I don't know. But like, I'm trying to be like this spider. I'm trying to build a web. I'm trying to get I'm trying to have community come together and understand that together we are so much more powerful and we can do so much more than apart. And then we've got clear quartz, <coughs> which is an amplifying stone, a protecting stone, a stone that's asking us, you know, crown chakra asking us to really tap in with our spirits again. I'm always going to be saying the same things because it's always going to be true. The spirit realm, we're working with it whether we want to or not. So we might as well do it consciously. We might as well do it with intention. We might as well amplify our energy in the right way and in a powerful way for us and for people around us. And so, and that's what I'm trying to do here. You know, I'm trying to build consistency. I'm trying to let y'all know that I'm here and I'm showing up for you because I love you. I love us and I love what we can accomplish together. And I believe that we're more powerful than the powers that be. The ones who are hoarding all the resources, who are burning down our world, want us to believe. They don't want us to believe in ourselves and our power. And for what they're shooting themselves in the foot and us because ultimately mutual aid is the only way and anything else just gets us all killed and all the rich people what they think they're going to go to mars they're just going to colonize other planets and they're just going to get away with all this bullshit. it's just not going to happen i'm just i'm just letting you know it's not going to happen so we need to work together and i'm like at my wits end because it's very hard to work together in this highly individualistic society so but you know what i'm gonna keep putting my energy out there and i'm gonna keep doing this because this is all i have <laughs> and then we've got white white now taboo subject right now whiteness we don't want to deal with whiteness we want to shun whiteness and that's valid i am you know i get it i got my white privilege because I got this light skin and and this like white magic it's like this new age thing like oh deny the darkness and only look towards the light that's obviously not what I'm peddling I'm not talking about that but I am talking about white and dark as complementary and so for me I have a tendency to go dark and I'm comfortable in dark realm and that's totally fine and I think that it's good to understand the subconscious realm, the darkness, the night, all of these symbolic things, but there has to be a balance. And so I know this is definitely <clears throat> speaking to me because I have not been balanced in my uh, dark to light ratio in my life. I have been I've been pretty depressed recently and I've had I've been going through a lot and witnessing a lot and seeing other people going through a lot and it's it brings me down and it it makes me forget the other side and to hold both and to allow both to exist so this is asking bring some light into your life bring some of the crown chakra down to the root chakra so that they can balance each other out so you can feel a foundational energy but you can also feel that you're guided by the spirituality that you choose to work with and so i feel that this particularly for me is just a reminder to continue to balance these things out i i am once again not saying light is good dark is bad that is false that's incredibly false and we need to cut that narrative now but i am saying that we need each we need we need to understand the darkness as well as understanding the light and if you are like me and have been going down the dark spiral path and just swimming in the darkness just so that you can like understand your subconscious realm 
maybe time to pull it up into the light and realize you know the sun is still shining on your face you're waking up for another day and despite what the situation is around you you're alive and you might as well do something with it so I think that is probably good for today and you know I hope that everybody's out there cleansing and taking care of themselves and um, you know just rocking this Virgo season and grounding yourselves in this energy and as well as giving of yourself because Virgo is all about that like very much into doing things for others and I'm like we got to find the balance doing things for others but doing things for self and how can we maintain these physical bodies while we're stuck on this rock so thanks so much and I'll see you next week